Hey friends, happy day 22. We are almost there, only eight days left of our challenge. Can you believe it? Day one feels like it was so far, so long ago. Um, I'm excited to be here. Sorry, this is crooked. Um, I'm excited to be here. Hey, Keisha girl. Hey, friends. Hey, friends. Um, I'm excited to be here. I know you guys are probably getting ready for holiday and all that fun stuff. Um, tomorrow being Thanksgiving. Um, but I want to get right into it. Today is day 22 and today's topic is strategy. Strategy. Okay, because nobody wins a war and let's face it, that's what we're in. A war with ourselves, a war to get what we want out of this year, out of our lives, out of everything that really we were placed on this earth to do. So day 22, we have eight days left, um, is strategy. So I'm going to talk about what you can do and ways that you can really try to help strategy in your life. Some people at this stage, like you feel so overwhelmed. You're like, oh my gosh, how am I going to get this done? Um, there's so many things I want to do, or there's so many things that just need to be done to accomplish this one thing. Totally fine. What you're lacking is strategy. You should have made a plan, but if you didn't make the plan, this is now when strategy is going to come into play because it goes along the same lines as the scripture that says people with, um, with no vision will perish. You can have vision, but if you don't have a strategy, you're leaving yourself open to the enemy. And we know the enemy to our souls is Satan. We're really not going to be able to accomplish much if we don't have a strategy to defeat what he's trying to use to defeat us literally and a lot of times it's the overwhelm it's the confusion it's the lack of ideas all of that is because you don't have a strategy because the same way you had an idea the same way your vision or goal was to open that salon and have that you have the strategy of how you're going to get it done you really do you might not think you do just because you don't have it plainly written down on paper but you have the strategy the same that moment when you came up with that idea to have that business was because you saw a hole somewhere you saw that there was something lacking, whether in yourself that whatever you were doing wasn't wasn't fulfilling or whatever, or you saw a whole like, for instance, Uber. I've been using them as an example because I think it's, it's just genius. Um, the idea that they saw a hole. There's a whole group of millennials. There's a whole group of people who don't want to be on holes forever. They saw a problem with people getting on the phone to call a cab and being on hold. No idea if they're going to be able to get to their destination. No idea if they're ever going to get off a hold in enough time so they won't be late to wherever they're trying to go. No idea if when they do pick up, they're going to say, oh, sorry, no cabs. Because who's been there before? You know? So... What the, when they had the vision to create an, an app that would call cars that you can just do it from your finger. You don't have to talk to anyone. You don't have to face to face. You don't have to go in somewhere. You don't have to go to a base. You literally could call. When you came up with that vision, you had the strategy. We need to create an app. The app is where people are going to be able to get to this, you know, call this car. And the app should be able to work like X, Y, Z. Though that's strategy. That's how you're, they were able to beat out their, their competition, the regular bases, the dispatch, and all of that. They had strategy when the idea came because you saw a hole, you saw an, you saw an issue. It's the same thing in your life. Whatever it is that you're, you're, you committed to on day one of this challenge, there's a strategy and ways to do it. Another simple example so you guys can really just understand what I'm saying. If your strategy is... I mean, excuse me, if your commitment was like, oh, I want to lose weight. You know that to lose weight, I got to eat less food. I need to go to the gym. I should probably drive a little less and walk a little more. I probably shouldn't eat, you know, after 10, uh, at 10 o'clock at night, every night. I probably shouldn't eat as much bread or cookies or flour as I've been eating. All of that is strategy. You think it's just like the ideas in your head or it's just like, oh, well, you know, this is just a thought that came. No, that's your strategy to weight loss. You stopping those things or implementing those things is the strategy to weight loss. So a lot of times you get so overwhelmed, like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do this? You have the how when the who God gave you the idea. He's not going to just drop idea in you and be like, all right, that's it. Toy store. 
that's it. No, you you the idea of a toy store came because you're tired of going to Target and having trash toys or they have a bare toy aisle. And you're like, I need to create a, just a toy store so I don't get caught up with buying candles and toys. Whatever it is, when you got that vision, you had a strategy. So you just need to go back to it and write it down. Remember, make it plain so that you have the vision and that you're able to put the pieces together to make it happen. So I want everybody today to work on their strategy. We're at day 22. We worked on all of the junk, the sinking, thinking, the ideas in our head. If your, your commitment is, I need more clients, what is the strategy you're going to put together to make that happen? Okay, I need to post three times a day on Instagram. I need to maybe work on my bio. Maybe I need to book a coaching call with a, an expert to figure out, maybe me, um, to figure out how to work Instagram because I may not be that savvy in it. Maybe I need to watch some YouTube videos or, you know, find some TikToks, whatever it is. That's the strategy to get to your point. You made the plan. You had the vision. You made a plan. you like, yeah, my plan is to open up a thousand nail salons and I want them all to be in America. That's your vision. That's, that's the plan. But now you need to go work backwards and say, well, how are we going to get there? That's strategy. Strategy is what is going to get you from point A to your final destination. This is why you have a map, um, a blueprint, excuse me. Because I know we want to build this house. You get the renderings from the architect. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Because that's just cutting and pasting. You could cut and paste all the things. You could create a whole vision board, what you want your, the interior of your house to look like. But what's the strategy? Who's going to pay for these things? Where are you going to go pick them up from? Because you just pulled images offline. That was the vision. That was the plan. Oh, the plan is to make an all beige house. Okay, great. Now, what is the strategy to get there? You have to create a strategy. And God gives strategy because he doesn't give halfway things. He's complete. He's whole. He's finished. Beginning and end. Alpha and omega. Be beginning and end. So he's not going to just give you the beginning and not give you the end. He's going to give you the pieces and all of that in between. What a lot of times doesn't happen or why you don't, you feel like, oh my gosh, I can't figure this out is you haven't taken the first step. He's not going to give you the full movie if you can't even go sit on in, in the theater and listen. So if you want to figure out what the strategy, be still for a second, sit back, go back to the beginning when you got the idea, when the big idea came. Because sometimes you, you jump and you're like, oh, I got that damn, I'm jumping and I'm doing things, I'm quitting my job, I'm doing all of this stuff. And then you're like, oh, shoot, I'm stuck, I don't have anything else. Because you weren't still to get the full plan or get the, the pieces of the plan that you need to implement. And the same way, you may get the first three steps. You may get strategy for now. I remember hearing um, somebody talk about Warren Buffett. He creates a list of things that needs to be done, that he wants to accomplish. But he only focuses on the top three at a time. He, it doesn't matter what number eight, nine, and ten is. If I don't get to work through these three, I don't get to worry about eight, nine, and ten. So until I get one, two, and three done and I can cross those off the list, the rest of those, don't. it doesn't matter. I'm only working on these things at a time. So sometimes you only need to take the first few steps. You're trying to see the end of the movie at the beginning, and you can't handle that. If you can't even handle the beginning of the story to jump out, you're already overwhelmed by, oh my gosh, I, I got 40 pounds to lose. Oh my God. If you're already overwhelmed by that, how are you going to get to the end of the movie? Take the first step and start with creating the strategy to accomplish the little things, the things you know that you need to do. There are, there are things that the Lord downloaded in you to know, this is what I need to do right now. Maybe it's self. Maybe it's self-talk that you need to work on. Maybe it's your mental that you need to work. Maybe you need to, you know, talk to someone. You need their, whatever it is, start with those things. And then the rest will be added unto you. It says, seek first the kingdom of God. Seek first. Because he's going to be the one to download it to you. And then everything else will be added unto you. Whenever you feel like there's a dry spell, you don't have what you need, seek first. Go back and seek first. Because you're sitting there grappling that show. That's when you start making mistakes. That's, start making, that's when you start making costly mistakes. Mistakes that are going to cost you money. Mistakes that are going to set you back. Because now you're just doing stuff out of fear. Oh my gosh, like I don't know what I'm doing. I need to be doing something. 
No, you need to be still and know that he is God. Know that he is Lord over all, over your life. That he's not going to give you a vision and leave you there to drown in water. He's never done that. So he's not going to do it. And all the times you feel like you were drowning, that was because of you. Your choices. Because you didn't go back to seek first. So remember this challenge, we're being honest with ourselves. We're checking in with like, what are the habits that we have that are not conducive to our future? What are the things that we've been doing that are not working? Because we need to stop them. We need to really focus on what are the strategies that are going to help me? What are the strategies I need to let go of that I've been using? And what are the strategies that are going to help me get to where I need to be? Because the word says when you go, hold on, I'm going to read this to you guys. Um, in Deuteronomy 11, it's a whole chapter talking about, hey, if you do the things I'm telling you to do, you will be blessed. I'm going to give you all the things that you need. You're going to have them all and you're going to be blessed. It's going to feel, it's going to be full of joy. All the things that you dealt with in the past. Remember all that stuff I had to deliver you from the leeks and onions, the, all the people who were enslaving you. Cause some of y'all are enslaved now. You might not be getting a whip cracked over your back, but you're enslaved by a bad job, a bad relationship, bad health. Bad health is you're enslaved. Now you got to take medication every day. Now you can't do anything because you, you, you're suffering from anxiety. You got to take pills to be able to not be anxious. You're a slave to a spirit of anxiety. And all because you're not seeking first. You're not getting the download. You're so fearful. You're so nervous about everything that you don't have peace. You've been robbed of peace. And that's not God, plain and simply. So something is off in your life. Something is not in alignment. Remember I said, play your position. Secure, excuse me, secure your position. You're out of position. You're out of order somewhere. Somewhere you need to go back to the Father and figure out what am I missing? What is not happening? What has invaded my space that has caused me to be out of line with what it is that I'm supposed to be doing? Because he has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. A sound mind is what makes good decisions. A sound mind is what takes over business. A sound mind is what creates wealth, not a schizophrenic mind. So all of this is what is going to realign you and position you to finish this year strong. The strategy that you need to take. And what I wanted to read to you um, was in Deuteronomy eleven twenty four. Every place where on the soles of your feet shall tread shall be yours from the wilderness and Lebanon, from the river to the, um, the river Euphrates, even unto the utmost sea shall be your coast. That really just means there shall be no man that will be able to stand before you. So this just really says Everything that you touch, so long as you stay in alignment with what I have planned for you. Because the things that he has planned for you is to prosper you, to give you a future and a hope. He already set aside the house that you want. He set aside the money that you need in your bank account to do all the things that he called you to do. He set aside the people in your life that are supposed to be there. It's whether or not you're going to choose your predestined path so that you can go where he wants you to go. So that you can be the sent one. And do the things. Because he's already done it. He, he cleared the pathway for you. He died on the cross to clear the pathway for you. Let's just be real, guys. The pathway has been cleared. Are you walking the path that he wants you to walk? And strategy from him is what's going to make sure that you get there. Because he says, if you choose my precepts, if you do what I'm asking you to do, everything, every place your feet touch will be yours. You'll be able to choose what's yours. You'll be able to pick what you want to do and where you want to go. So that is what I want you guys to focus on today. Strategy. Figure out the strategy that you need to execute the things and the vision that you want for your life. It doesn't just happen. Hard work is required to get to where you want to go. You don't just wake up rich. You don't just wake up wealthy. You don't just wake up in the, the dream house that you want. It takes the strategy, the perseverance, the, the mental bandwidth, the sound mind to get you there. Every day, like we're working on commitment. You have to commit every single day to, no, I made a plan. I have the strategy to get here. I'm going to get here. 
I know how to get here. That's what I'm going to, these are the things that I'm going to do to get here. Strategy is what's going to get you there. And the last thing that I want to read, um, oof, my leg, is, it's in Psalm, I believe it's in, no, it's in James. Hold on one second, friends. Um, yeah, it's James 117. Um, every good gift and every perfect, one of my favorite scriptures, Every good and every perfect gift is from above and it cometh down from the father of lights with whom no variableness, neither shadow of turning. There's no shadow when he gives you a gift. So when he gives you this strategy, your vision, your the, the business idea, the dream, the goal, the whatever it is that you're working on for this 30 days was dropped in by him. And there's not going to be a shadow on it. He's going to give you everything that you need to get it done because he's not shady. He's not going to halfway give you a vision and be like, mm, I'm a gatekeep the rest because no, we don't serve a gatekeeping God. He's going to give you everything you need. Every good and perfect gift is from above. And the vision that he gave you in your heart that you should that you're supposed to be pressing forward to do that you're supposed to be curating your life to be able to receive. It doesn't come with any shot. It doesn't come with any change because he's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. He's not going to change his mind. There's another scripture that I love. Um, I think it's in Ecclesiastes where he says, I'm not uh, basically he's saying like, I'm not schizophrenic. I don't say, oh, it's going to snow. And then in the in the middle of it, snow and be like, oh, no, actually, I changed my mind. And now all the snow has to come back up off the ground. No, when it's time for it to rain, the rain is coming down. It's going to touch the ground because I said so, because my word doesn't return void. And if he gave you a vision for your life or at this stage that you're working on, it has to come to pass. But what the, the, the participation that he needs from you is your commitment and working on the strategy, which literally he's going to give you. And when he gave you the vision, the goal, the idea, the dream, the passion, whatever it is, he also gave you strategy. So I want you to go back. I want you to pivot backwards and think about what are the things that came with the vision? Because it, it comes with the package. There's ideas that come. I'm, I'm a dreamer. I, it, a lot of things, it comes with the package. Trust. He's not going to give just a piece. Of course, he's not going to give the full movie, but he's going to give you enough to get started. He's going to give you enough to start planning. He's going to give you enough so that you can go out there and start getting it. So today is day of strategy because this is what's going to help propel us all of December and into our new year so that we, we can successfully accomplish what we were put on this earth to do. These are the beginning phase. These are the starting phases. Again, in one of my other lives, I talked to you guys about Jeff Bezos. We see, Google the image if you haven't seen it. Him in his garage with a dry erase board with Amazon on it. He had a strategy of getting there. Read the story. Look up some successful business owners. They all had a strategy to get to where they wanted, where they are now. There was a strategy. So it's no different. You have to come up with the strategy. And get out of your own way. Because a lot of you know the strategy. And a lot of you, the strategy requires you to show up for you. You to show up for your business. You can't be too scared. You can't be nervous. You can't, oh, I don't want to be. No. Because someone needs to see your face. Someone needs to see themselves in you. Someone needs to recognize that, wow, she can do it. He can do it. I look like him. I look like her. I can do it too. Remember, this is not about just self. We're not, we're, we're created for relationship. We're in relationship with other people. So this is not just about a self motivated thing or is it? No, you being obedient to pick up this commitment, this call one, we already talked about it. You're a set one, but it's so that you can unlock things on this earth that no one else can. Cause your life is a key to something else. You're a one of one. There's only one lock that can answer to your voice. There's only mountains that your voice can answer to. So you guys have to make sure you're focusing on the strategy. And whenever you finish the steps, you go back and get some more strategy. And you finish some more steps, you go back and you get some more strategy. That's what I want you guys to focus on for today. Day 22 is strategy. 
because we need a plan to execute on the success. We're, we've already done a lot of the hard work. So now we have to start putting things together so that we can really see the results. So thank you guys for joining. Um, please like and subscribe to my YouTube page. That's where this will be. It is going to live there. You can always start and restart this challenge at any time. Um, I definitely will. You definitely can start this again in January or even go back and do it again in December just to really get your momentum going so that you can successfully finish this year strong, which is the whole point of this challenge, and start fresh in 2024. Because again, I've been saying it, you're not going to wake up in 2024 on the 1st and say, okay, now I'm going to kick butt. No, you're not. You're going to fall on your butt. Because guess what? You haven't been doing the work to get you out of your own way. Because if that's the case, then you'd be already doing it now. Well, let's just be real. And you're not. So let's focus on one truth and honesty because we need to be honest with ourselves. We need new habits. We need to set up new things that will get us the results that we're looking for. Because the habits that we've been using are not setting us up for success. So that is the focus of this challenge to get the most out of the rest of this year so that we can finish this year strong and take off in 2024. There is still time left in this year. Do not throw in the towel. I don't care if you've fallen off the bandwagon during this challenge. There is still 100% of 2023 left. Until the clock strikes midnight, there's still time in 2023. There's time for more, more money, more clients, more business, more love, more friendship, more Anything that you can think of that you're desiring, there's still plenty of time for more of it. Go back and watch the other videos. If you missed any of them, the titles will speak to you. I guarantee it. This challenge is going to bless your life. If you want to be able to get the emails that I send out daily, once a day, just encouraging you on this challenge, click the link in my Instagram bio. You can get there. My name is the same on every platform, Candace Idahan. And you can get sign up for my newsletter to get the email for this challenge. I cannot wait to see what you guys create on the other side of November 30th. We're here for results, guys. We're leaving no crumbs on the table this year. So I cannot wait to see what you create. Results are sexy. I'll talk to you guys soon.